Hey y'all, it's Joanna. Thanks for coming back. I've got some things to show you. So Debbie, the uh, Canadian crotcheter, I love her name. <laughs> she um, gave me a little shout out on one of her videos. Um, she must have watched my first one where I pointed out Square Bear which is a Yarnspirations pattern that, and I think Mikey, yeah, Mikey did a tutorial on it. Um, with the crochet crowd. And here is my square bear. He, um, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's an easy, somewhat easy amigurumi pattern. I'm gonna try that. But uh, of course, I didn't follow directions because I never do, <laughs> even with recipes. I change them up every time. So, um, so his pattern or Yarnspirations pattern called for two different colors where there was, where Square Bear was wearing like a sweater and had like a turtleneck. So I think it had like a row of, I don't, I don't know what kind of stitches those were, maybe front post, back post. So it looked a little more like a sweater uh, ribbing uh, for the around the neck, like a turtleneck kind of look. But um, I made mine in all one color and I just kept it simple because that was my intention just to do it. Um, I also used Bernat blanket yarn and it's so soft and squishy. So mine came out bigger than the original pattern because bigger yarn. And, um, but you know what this is perfect for? Lumbar support. <laughs> I use it all the time. I stick it in that small of my back and it's great. I love it. So this is my little lumbar pillow, my little lumbar bear, my little lumbar. <laughs> it's a lumbar. <laughs> I'm really not excited about it. I don't know. The eyes don't look right. The nose is too small. You know, it's like, it was just like a, let's see if I can do this kind of thing. The ears seem a little too long, but I think that's uh, how they all look on on their pattern. I would change it up if I, if I did it again, of course, because I change everything. So let me put that there so I can get comfy. And let me show you. I don't think I showed you this bunny I made yet. So this did another one of my little Lanucas bunnies and I made a little flower to put in her ear and I thought that was cute. And then um, I just completed this this morning. I made another elephant. So I did this one with the two with two different colors, just different shades of gray and the little tail there. So I have a lot of people commenting on, on the elephant I made and everybody wants an elephant. So I'm gonna try to make a few so I can get them to some friends. And the next, um, that I really hadn't done a whole lot, but I have some uh, prototypes, prototypes. So these are just in the mode of uh, got a lot of more tweaking to do for the final product. So I don't know if y'all can recognize what this might be. An egg. It's a little pointy. <laughs> I need to work on my egg. And I made a little unicorn. Um... Nah, I gotta fix the nose. It looks like a pig nose. Pig nose. But, um, I just gave it a pretty little rainbow mane and tail. So, it's just, it's the same pattern, just smaller. I basically cut it in half and only did half size um, from, from these. Or probably smaller than half. Pretty close. Um, 
So he's got his little horn up here and his little ears. I thought it was cute. We'll see. <laughs> I got a little more tweaking to do yet on this. I definitely got to figure out something better with the nose. So, and the pointy egg. <laughs> Forgot to show you another bunny. I made a little bunny the same size as the unicorn. Hee <laughs> hee, isn't he cute? It's so cute. Another elephant in progress. Legs. And another prototype I did was, um, do you know, let me write her name down. So I remember to link it. Billy with the Crafty Floridian. I think that's the name of her. Yeah, Billy. She does these um, dolls. She calls them Damn It Dolls. And I just think it was hilarious when I saw it. And I've since um, looked online and I see other people have done different versions of Damn It Dolls with material and stuff like that. And I was like, this is hilarious. This is great. I've got to do something like this. Um, if you don't know, I live um, just across the lake from New Orleans. And if you remember this past uh, playoff season, that um, there was an incident that happened with the Saints and the referees didn't make a, a certain call that was blatantly obvious. I think they're even gonna end up changing the rules because of that where they can go back and look at it. I don't know, I'm not a big football fan. I don't mind it. I think it is wonderful that people come together with the camaraderie and they, you know, they just love to get together and celebrate something. And I don't care what it is. If you wanna be happy and celebrate something, I'm all for it. But, um, so there was this big ruckus about the referees not making this call. So these damn it dolls may resemble somewhat of a voodoo doll, but I'm not going into that voodoo spectrum because I don't want to open any gates to that sort of thing. Um, so this is my damn it doll. It's a referee. <laughs> you see his yellow flag? <laughs> Okay, this is my prototype. As you can see, the stripes are too big. The stripes are too big. Um, let me put them this way. Can you see them? I'm gonna have to find that little saying that goes with these and read it to you. But I'm actually think I'm gonna change that, of course, because I can never do anything right. <laughs> To always change everything but I'm gonna call this the dang it doll because I'm in the south and I don't like to curse so this is gonna be the dang it doll and I'll get you that little poem here in just a minute so woof, got fuzzies so it's um so this is the prototype so now I know kind of how I want to do it. I know I don't want to keep it in the round where all this is crooked. You know, how one rose up from the other. I need to keep it straight. So this is what I did with this one. This is uh, in progress. I made a panel of the black and white stripes. You know, just a flat panel. And then um, I made the little legs and I stitch the panel up the back and to the legs. Mm, I don't know if I'm still happy with this yet either. I think I might go back to this way, make the stripes smaller, but not do it a uh, continuous round. I need to stop and go up to the next row. I think that's what I'm gonna do. But anyway, so the stripes are smaller, so that's good. So this is this will probably work out a lot better. And those, that is my prototype. And this is my next prototype, which I'm probably gonna tweak again. But I thought people around here would get a kick out of these dang it dolls. Gotcha. 
And by the way, go Saints. <laughs> Who dat say they gonna beat them Saints? Who dat? Who dat? <laughs> okay, so here's the little poem with my little changes in it. Uh, whenever things don't go so well and you wanna hit the wall and yell, here's a little dang it doll that you can't do without. Just grab it firmly by the legs and find a place to bang it. And as you whack the stuffing out, yell, dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> it's hilarious. So I picked up a few more clearance items from Hobby Lobby. Of course, can't stay out of that place. Look at my little shawl pin with the bug. Eee, it's a bee. It's a butterfly, it's a bee. It's a butter bee. Look, it was only $2.49 from $10. I don't know if I'll ever use it, you know, like on a shawl, but um, I'm gonna put it on my desk or in like a cork board or, I don't know, I'm gonna put it somewhere. It's cute. <laughs> and they have this um, ruler set. It's Yarnology Gauge Ruler. It's like square, squares. I don't know, I think it might be for quilting, but it'll come in handy. And plus quilting's on one of the things I wanna learn how to do. So here we go, getting my supplies. And I bought some knitting needles that were marked down on clearance. This is only $1.12. Um, let's see what size these are. 11, five, five mil, eight millimeter. Yarnology. Yarnology, these were only 82 cents. And these were <laughs> not marked clearance. Apparently I bought them regular price. <laughs> So, I think somebody told me in um, one of those Zoom chats, which I'm loving all you ladies, by the way, and I need to start, I'm going to start shouting y'all out so people, my people will see your people, of course, you have way more people than I do, but um, this, uh, somebody said, get a size 8 16 inch needles. And those are the best ones to learn on. And you can make a washcloth or whatever and start practicing. So I think these are 14 inch, size eight, which is a five millimeter, right? I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> How are they? <laughs> uh, yeah, five millimeter. <laughs> See, I hate that glare. All right, and then some uh, needle, or hook gauges where if you have one that you don't know what size it is, I guess you just stick it through that hole and it'll tell you where you're at, how many millimeters it is. So I found these. These are swatch organizer and yarn inventory cards. So what I figured I'd use these for are for my whips. I can write on here um, or even just get like a mailing sticker label. I had tons of those in my office. And just, I can put whatever I want on it. Hook size, what type of yarn I'm using, you know, just all the things you need to know for your whip. Because I do have some whips. I have no idea what hook size I was using or what exactly the pattern was or, you know, whatever. You know, so. I was like, hmm, that might be a good idea to uh, mark my whips for now on. And so they have these little, you know, like safety pin -y things in here. And you can just hook it onto the project bag or to the whip itself. So that'll, that'll maybe help keep me organized, maybe, hopefully. So I've been very interested in loom knitting also. Why am I swinging this around? And I've been wanting to um, get an Addy machine. I'm gonna write down Margaret's name. I'm gonna link Margaret Olander.
she um, she has tons of uh, things to show you on her channel. Um, her name is Margaret Olander with Sheepishly Sharing. She's got tons of um, lots of informational videos, um, tutorials, um, you know, just talking about the whole plethora of yarny goodness, right? She's really sweet. I've been watching her for a long time. She's a great little Southern gal. She um, does a lot of loom knitting with her Addy machine, which I really want to get is an Addy. But they're so expensive, right? So um, she has done reviews on tons of other, um, what do you call it? The hand crank loom knitting machines. So um, if you wanna check her out, she's got a few videos, quite a few videos on those and where she tested different ones and the pros and cons of them. But um, this, they also had this marked down clearance at Hobby Lobby for $374. So it's got these two big looms in here. I know this isn't a crank one and I may get frustrated with trying to pick the little yarns over each little peg, but I figure, ah, four bucks, give it a try. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe this will end up going in my garage sale box <laughs> or giveaway box, <laughs> right? <laughs> we will see. So last time I went into Michael's, they had, um, they still had a bunch of yarn, the clearance yarn. So um, in your area, go check them out and see if you, if you want to get, load up on that. I didn't buy any more. It was really hard to resist, but I have too much. So, um, is there such a thing as too much yarn? I don't know, <laughs> but look what I found. I don't know if this is new or if I've been walking past it and never seen it before, but I was like in shock when I saw it. It's freaking huge. It's loops and threads. It's like a, um, look at this. It's like a tube. It's like tubular, dude. Tubular. <laughs> and so the tube is filled with this cottony goodness. So we'll put that back in there. But I was like freaking out. I was like, Wow, this is so much better than all that fuzzy stuff. I don't know if you saw those really big skeins that I showed on the, um, when I did the um, clearance, you know, walkthrough at, at Michael's, but they have like this huge, um, it was this thick, but it was just all fuzzy and it was almost like you could just pull it apart. I didn't like it at all. You know, it would just like, it would, to me, it seemed like you could just pull it apart little bit by little bit, just like stuffing, you know, that you would put in something. Let's see. Let's see. Let me tell y'all about it. It's got, it's called Loops and Threads Wild and Free. Uh, it's only 49 yards, but you know, it's a big 49 yards. Um, 35 ounces, 45 meters, 1,000 grams. It says it's a size seven. And to use a 35 millimeter hook and this is the color ivory. Oh, they had some pretty colors. I got another color I'm gonna show you. This is like the, uh, this is ivory. And it says that it is made of 49% cotton, 28% nylon, 21% uh, 
polyester and 2% spandex. And the filling is 100% polyester, just like fiber fill. Which felt like what that other yarn that I showed you felt like this. Like it was just good. You could just tear it apart like that. That was yucky, but it was this big. You know what I mean? Yeah. So here's the other color I got. Eek. Eek. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is turquoise. So pretty. So I got two of each. I got two ivory and two turquoise. I'm so excited. I can't wait to, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. Am I going to make this into a rug and step on it with my feet? Or just make like a little lap throw and get all snuggly wuggly? We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> I just bought it because... I wanted to. <laughs> so, I would not have bought that yarn at regular price. No way. $35? What? You crazy? What? But, they had a 60% off coupon that came in your email. And I got it all for 60% off. Score! Right? <laughs> So a little over a week ago, I hit 100 subscribers, and now I'm at like 148. That's crazy pants. I love it. Thank y'all so much. Um, if you haven't already, go to my previous video. Maybe I'll link that in the description. And um, like, subscribe, and leave a comment because um, I'll be pulling a winner Monday for my Stash Crash giveaway. So I'm making this video on Good Friday, so I wish you all a blessed Easter Tritium. Thanks for sticking around for Joe's Web number five. I'll see you next time. Bye! the joys of doing this when you're not alone wait no stop savage and libre is that what that says is that a s <laughs> i don't know what it says <laughs> okay might as well let it keep rolling wait no stop oh. Where was I? I forgot. Hmm. This yarn, I was excited to see. Disruptions. Cowabunga. Totally tubular, dude. It's totally tubular. <laughs>